Hey guys, it's Tark Recycle on FPV, and we are going to be working on another RMA right now, and this will be on a, uh, let me see, I gotta check this out, let me see what the RMA notes say, sorry, let me pull that up real quick. So this is going to be on a, uh, hmm, <laughs> sorry, and, uh, this is going to be on an HDLRC drone, which one, I am not sure yet, but uh, i tell you what, in either case, uh, we're going to turn it over and I'm going to turn the package over here so we don't reveal any of the information. And as always, guys, please remember that uh, I am just here to try to make this, uh, try to make it easier for everybody. But, you know, if, if what I say offends you or in any way it's not intended to, I, maybe I just have a lack of being able to pick the right words. Um, but uh, if I think, you, you know, if I think there's a mistake here or a job could have been done better, I'll let you know. And if I think it's on the error of the company, I will let you know that too. I promise you. All right, and with that said, uh, let me go ahead and find a razor blade. Here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this open. Okay, so this is on an HTLRC. And this is gonna be an Arrow 3, all right? So let me go ahead and just cut the electric tape here. All right. Okay. Uh, there's your battery. I got it out of the box, and as I connected the battery, it would not show any signs of turning on. Okay, so apparently this drone was brand new and wouldn't even power up when it was plugged in. Okay, so that's first thing we're going to do is let's just look over the drone itself. Um, let me see what I find here. The only reason I'm doing that is I just want to make sure that uh, that looked like there was some debris on there, but. Uh, I honestly, I don't see much of anything going on around here with this. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to verify first. I'm going to verify. Our oh shoot! Where's my microscope? Going to verify continuity. I want to make sure that we don't have a short somewhere. Uh, so let me check that first. Okay. There we go. Make sure it's working. Okay, so I'm not seeing any continuity here. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it up. I've got the smoke stopper hooked up, and I've got I'm gonna leave this amp reader on here. For, well, actually, you know what? I don't need it right now unless there's a reason to show you the amp pull, which right now I don't even know what's going on, so I don't have a reason to do that. So let me just go ahead and put this extension on here so I can put in the. Um, you know, <clears throat> smoke stopper, and I'm gonna give it some power here. And he's 100% right. There is no sign, and we have no amp pull. We have no, I have no amps being pulled here at all, so there is no sign of this working right now. So let me go ahead and pull this off and see if we have a dead cable here, okay? All right, so let's do this. I'd like to say what's up to my sons, Ashton, Landon, and Jaden. I hope y'all are having a good day today. Jaden, we've been kicking butt in Fortnite together. Thanks for playing again this morning and last night. Ashton, you keep up the good work with your football camp and your training. And Landon, you do the same. I want to see you guys kicking some butt this coming year if we ever get back to school, okay? I'm very proud of all of y'all, all right? And uh, I will see you soon. And uh, we'll take it from there. All right, so... With that said, let me move this stuff aside. Let me disconnect the camera. And what I'm going to be looking at here first is I just want to verify that this cable is a good cable because I know that there was an issue with these cables, right? They did a, they did a, like a, a, a recall almost on that. So let me go grab another one real quick. And I want to just verify that cable's good. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. We have one cable here. Here, where are my white cables? Hold on, guys. Somebody moved my inventory around, and now I don't see the white ones. But you know what? Maybe I can just try this. White ones are. What is this? Fifty pieces. Let me 
to see if this will be the right kink would work. Because I think after they did the white ones to replace them, they went back and the manufacturer was finally making them properly. So they did the colored ones. And I just got to make sure this is the right one. So bear with me a second. There's no crossover on these. Nope. So. All right. Now, let's try it again. Make sure we will do a continuity test one more time. Just to make sure. Okay. So, that's not good. So, let me see. Now, what we've got. Yeah, that's nice. Let me try a different cable. Always got to make sure before I turn this on because the cables look identical, but one is inverted. So let me just make sure I pull the right one. Okay, here are the light ones. So I've got those, so let me just grab those real quick. All right, so this is the one I'm looking for. We'll just go with this one then and see what happens. There we go. Okay, let's do another continuity test. Well, I think there's something, let me make sure. That's continuity. I think there's just something. All right, so that's passing. There's no continuity there. It didn't make any sense. All right, so let's do this. Let's plug this in. And we still do not have any sign of power at all. <sighs> all right, well, with that being said, it looks like we're going to have to uh, tear the board down. And I'm going to save this cable and put it aside because that's the cable that um, came with it. And we want to make sure maybe that it's not a bad cable, maybe it's something else. So let me go ahead and let's tear into this real quick. I don't understand what's wrong yet, but I'm sure we'll figure it out very soon. Okay, so the idea here is going to be to remove every component possible, right? And try to come up with a reason for this issue. Where they really kink the heck out of this thing, huh? All right, so we're gonna take the VTX off. All right, we do that there, and we'll try it again. Nothing yet. Now we'll go to the FC, take the FC off. And we're gonna examine the ESC and the cable. And let's just see if we're getting any voltage to the board. Maybe there's a break in the XT30 cable, holy crap. Okay, so I'll tell you this right now. Um, this board right here, and that just kind of kind of made me jump a little bit. Um, this ESC, <laughs> I don't know how to tell you. I wanna see if this red light comes on. Okay, not now, right? Okay, good. So look at this ESC, I'm gonna turn on the microscope Okay, and I'm going to see if 
this, what I'm seeing now is going to show up, I mean, if it's really there with the microscope. So let's just see. I can't explain it better than to just show it. Okay. So here's something I'm very curious about. So check this out. I'm going to put this on the screen. Oh, is that my wife? Yeah, my wife is here. So I've got to go do groceries real quick. I will be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Need to go help my wife with some groceries. All right, so here we go. Um, so here's what I'm looking at right now. And this is what I see right here, okay? So check this out. You see this right here? This little piece. I, don't, I guess I can't draw on here, but this right here is what's bothering me. I'm seeing little flecks of solder, but uh, what gets me concerned is this one right here. Um, and, and what is happening with it? How did that happen to begin with? Uh, and I guess the first thing I need to do is uh, I need to check it. It's, it's not common for me to see it. I mean, meaning this would be the first time I've seen it from HVLRC. What I cannot tell you, and I need to probably look on the box here real quick. Uh, no, this came with the XM already soldered. So honestly, there's no reason anybody else would have had to have uh, uh, gotten in here. Okay. So here's what I want to check now. Um, if that solder is sitting like that, now here's what I don't know. Now this could be an insignificant issue, but it's, it's, it's significant to me no matter what. Um, but here's what I want to check, okay? So I want to find out. Okay. Sorry, I know you can't see much because I'm using this area, but what I'm looking to see So here's my concern. Okay, so this rail and this rail, all these rail, all these along the rail here. Now let me kind of try to show you because I know you can't here. Let me split the screen. That'll make it easier. Okay, so let's do this and this, and hopefully you can see what I'm talking about. All right, let me move these out of the way. Here's what my concern is. Now again, it's a concern. I have to check first and verify, but that's what I'm going to try to do here. Um, I don't want to assume anything. Uh, I'll leave that to the know-it-alls and I will just try to back this up here this way. All right, so look, here's what we're talking about, all right? way these work is when they're laid out on the board, they're usually uh, all going to be the same, right? On the, on the same side, you're either gonna have a ground or a positive, all right? So I'll, I should get continuity across the board if I keep touching these on the same side. If I touch the opposite side, like here and here, I should not get continuity, see? Nothing. But now if I bring this over, let me get it over here. I should get continuity, okay? So here's the deal. When I come over to this one and this one, I have my continuity, okay? And let me go back here. Let me verify, okay? Okay. Okay. So when I plug this in, this is where I'm gonna get worried. Let me check something here now. I'm not going to move that solder yet because I want to I want to see what we're working with here. Okay, that looks good. So the next thing I want to do, and here's what here's what got me concerned. And I'm going to try to show you guys, and I know your the, the the zoomed in part isn't helping too much, but let me just let me just leave that there for right now. Okay, I'm going to plug this back in. I'm not going to like this at all, I'm sure, but let me just check something here. I'm going to go ahead and. I'm going to put the continuity test, but I'm going to test the board now. So this should. Okay. Okay. All right, now let me look here. Okay, so while I leave that solder there, I'm gonna go ahead and give this, I wanna test these two real quickly. I'm gonna test them at the base here. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna grab, when I get continuity where I shouldn't, I always grab my second test for just in case there may be a flaw. So let me go ahead and grab a second one now. Test it. Okay, now let's test these. Okay, we definitely, it appears 
And here's the weird part about it. One minute. All right, now let me take this one. It's almost as if, and I, I don't know this to be, uh, it's almost as if the board is holding a charge. Let, let's just say like this. Hypothetically, it looks to me, if I had to guess, and again, I'm not an electronic, electrical engineer by any means, okay? So, I mean, I, I can say things that may make no sense, like we need plutonium for the flux, flux capacitor, whatever. But I'm gonna plug this in, and I feel like this board is holding a charge. I feel like it's actually, like, as if the capacitor is holding the charge. Now, I'm gonna check something out here. I'm gonna turn it on. Okay, board's on, okay? Now, check this out. Let's get a voltage reading here. Eleven point one. That's correct. Okay. Now, words off. Light is still on, on my smoke. Uh, so now let's get a voltage reading. You see that? Look, it's not stopping. Now it could be, but you see now I have continuity. Okay. And until that drains. So I'm going to now come in here and I'm going to try my best to get rid of this without causing a spark. But you guys may, might see a spark here. If there's still power on this board, if there's any kind of charge left on this board, and I'm hoping that I don't see it, I want to get this solder out. Is it going? Did it go? No, I just moved it. All right. Ah, oh, come on. Wonderful. I'm going to have to play soccer with this thing. There it goes. We kicked it out. Right? So it's clear now. Let me check. Everything's clear. Looks good. So far. Okay, let's turn it back on. All right, let's check the continuity. I mean, let's check the voltage. 11.1 volts looks good let's go to our output here uh, well, let's take a wild guess on this one because I don't know what you well no those are gonna be too small let me see if I can find a pad that would do this all right so maybe on the other side Nope. All right, let's turn it off. Okay. And then uh, all of a sudden what we have, we have continuity. Okay. So now the question is, are we going to be able to get the board to fire up at all? Or is it damaged? And the next thing I'll do, I know you guys are watching the microscope, so let me just take that off real quick. And we'll go back to a full screen of this. Sorry. There we go. Let's try this. Let's get this out for now. Because I've got to inspect the rest of the board now and see what else might be going on. But let me just give this some power and see... So we've got nothing coming in. I need to read this real quickly so let me get my magnifying glass. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken then, the way this cable is run, this should be over here, we should have positive here. I gotta try to get that without shorting this out though. So and let me touch ground over here and see if we have anything. There we go, kind of. Nope. 
So we've got no power coming to here at all. But that is this cable here. Let's go ahead and put that on here. Okay, and while that's sitting there, I've got nothing. Oh, there we go. So we've got 10.9, 11 volts right there. So that would be ground first. A little surprise, but let's see. No. That's just interesting. So something strange because I'm going to unplug this now. Now we're going to watch and see what happens. It's holding 11.1. .1. Look at that. With no power in it. Ten point eight, ten point seven. This is literally with no power. Now to verify that we're not just hallucinating, let me go to my. Uh, I think I'm going to lose it here, but let me go here and see. Here's the other one, and let's measure. 10, look at that. Uh-oh, did I just lose it? No, there it is. I don't know if you can see that. It says 10.53. Darn it. Let's put that here. That way you guys can see it better. There is no voltage. There's nothing plugged into this board. Okay? So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the capacitor. But that's very... And I knew that this... It seemed like this was going to be where we would have maybe a spark issue or something. So we have no power plugged into the board at all. And our, our devices are telling us correctly that there is 10 volts uh, coming back. Now, it's, it's got a very short lifespan. But again, just to make it clear, if it's still there, let's see. Now we're at 10.42, 10.41. I mean, okay. So uh, at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to take out the entire system. bottom here see if there's any other soldering issues take out the cable make sure see guys I do have a problem and the problem is that I still have to be careful like everything's hot on here because even now I'm assuming it's gonna die out but unless there's something pulling the power out this thing is holding on and uh, that's not gonna be good for me so let me see if I can just get to this So they go one ring, then the board, then three rings. I'm just trying to make sure when I put this back together, I remember how they do all this. I've never gotten used to this whole change up to these ring soft mountings. But it is strange to see this. Uh, I'm assuming the capacitor is holding the energy right now. So we're going to take this off and remove the cap. take the screw all the way out. I just need to take this up enough to where I can remove the board. Get these little soft mounts off. These things drive me crazy. All right. One more. here all right so we've got this part out pretty much all we've got left is here 
And with that, we want to now look at the rest of the board. So let's go ahead and cut this. I'm going to not, my best, not desolder the motors. I just don't feel like messing with all that right now. It doesn't seem necessary. So let me just look here and try to understand. Oh, hold on a second now. What is that? No, it's not bad. All right. Um, you know, I can't tell if I see another solder mark here. No, I guess not. All right. So I said I was going to desolder the um, capacitor, and that's what I'm going to do next. Okay. So let me go ahead and do that. All this stuff can sit aside, and we're going to get to the bottom of this one way or the other. Taking off HGLRC solder is not the easiest thing. Let me see if I can try to make this as easy as possible. All right, we're just gonna crank the soldering iron up to like 420, 430. It's getting into that gonna burn the heck out of you temperature, but at the same time, it should make, once it reaches that temperature, it should make removing this a little bit easier. So let me get, uh, let's get a little bit more of this. Put a little bit more of this here. One, one. Let's get the next one. Make sure everything's clean and it is. Now we'll drop the tent back down on our soldering iron. <sighs> now I'm curious to see if we still have a standing voltage here at all. And we don't have anything anymore. Now let's do a continuity test. We have no continuity either. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this ESC back in. And let's measure voltage. Oops, my bad, sorry guys. Forgot to turn the dial. 11.14 is correct. Let's turn it off.
looks like we have ESC. I'm going to test the flight controller now because the ESC itself is not coming back from that issue. So let's test the flight controller and make sure we haven't damaged. Okay, so flight controller, let's hear a beep. Hoping. Okay, flight controller is still good. So it looks like we have an ESC that may be damaged. So let me disconnect this. Now we have the daunting task of uh, changing the ESC out. So let me go ahead and Okay, I just said I didn't want to have to take the motors out, but at this point, unfortunately, I don't have a choice. This sucks. <sighs> it's just not cool. So, and I will tell, I will show HCLRC that there was an issue with that soldering. And to be honest with you, it's the only thing I can think of that may have damaged the board, I don't know. But uh, there's no other excuse for seeing that. Um, there's no other reason I can find right now that would even hint that this would be, uh, maybe the cable was a bad cable, but still, I mean, this is kind of absurd issue. All right, so I've cranked the temperature of my soldering iron way up so I can get through there solder. And I'm just gonna basically pull the motors back and then put a new board in, all right? So we're going to have to talk to them about what happened with that. Now, let me see. This is outside. Okay. One. Two. And three. All right, I want to look at the bottom of this board too. Just let me look at some here. I gotta tell you, okay, so I'm gonna go and grab, uh, I need to turn the temperature back down on the soldering iron. Okay, so I'm gonna grab one of these Sorry, I got thirsty there. I'm gonna grab one of these ESCs because something about it still isn't sitting right with me. So let me just go and grab one. I think I've got one here for more. the board there's the new one what I want to know I have to check real quick so let me check HCRC's website 
because I cannot remember on this one. Let me go to, actually, I'll just check my website. So let's go here and I'll show you what I'm doing here. So I'm going to the uh, brand, let's see, brand, and then we'll go to the HCLRC. And then what I want to do, well, that's not good. What happened? I'm not on the internet. Why not? Wonderful. This is just getting better by the minute. Well, now I'm on the internet. Wait, there it is. Okay, I guess you just have to refresh. Okay, so let me find this drone here. Where is it? The wind. I already passed it up. Probably. Hold on. Oh, arrow. Oh my God, what am I doing here? This one. Okay, so I want to check the arrow V3 and see what. ESC, so 45 amp, there it is. So the 44, that's this one. That's what I want to verify. All right, so here's a brand new Ford 45 amp. Um, so they put an XT, God, did, did they do that? Because I need to check this. So it's catching me off guard is I just keep thinking that I may have to go open a new one of mine. I'm reading here just to see if it tells me. I don't think it tells me anything here about the connection as to whether it's going to be a 30 XT30 XT60. So the customer is using an XT30. The thing is, is just the whole work here doesn't look right, but oh well. My job is to make sure this thing gets fixed, and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to transfer, unless there's something wrong with this cable, I'm going to go ahead and take this off as well. Now you got to crack the, crank the uh, temp back up. But you know what? I remember who. I think I just sold one to somebody. Hold on a second. I did. I saw one Julio. So let me see if Julio's there. Uh, contacts. Julio. Let's see if I can get him on the phone. And we can see what we got going on. Hey man, I'm, I'm actually in the middle of a video, so us talking is being recorded, sorry. But it just dawned on me, I need to ask you, on that um, arrow that I sold you, what connection came on there? Was it an XT30 or XT60? Yeah. It was 30. Okay, that's what I need. Talk to you soon. Because I've got one out here now, and it's having, there's, a, there's a problem with the board, and I need to verify the connection that came on it. That's all. just helps me to understand if it was done after or before. Thanks, man. See you, bye. All right, good. So at least we know that part. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to HCLRC about this because of all the times I've done their stuff, I haven't seen things kind of looking this way. So I'm, I'm a little curious to know if this was done, if, if any of the assembly work or any of the work on this was done here or was it done by them or was it done? Because I know there was a, I believe there was a point where they were having some of the work done here. Maybe. I don't know. I can't verify. I'll have to verify that with them. If this was done by them, uh, you know, maybe something just seems a little off. I can't figure it out yet, but I'll talk to them about it and see. So anyways, let's go ahead now and um, let's change the, give you guys a normal angle to look at here. Sorry. Uh, there we go. So we're going to go ahead and pull this off. I'm not going to be very lenient with this thing because the boards are already toast. So at this point, I just want this cable off. So come on. Jeez. It gets like a gajillion degrees here. All right, let's do this one. Oh, 
Come on. There we go. Board smoking hot now. Wonderful. All right, let's get the new board ready, shall we? Let's not waste any time here. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn the board up. And I will make the spots for the cap as well. So I'll run this the same way that HDLRC did and put the cap underneath. There we go. Okay, all right. Lower the tent back down, like way down, because that's just super hot. There we go. Let's clean that tip off there. Okay. Hey, Mama. Uh, what are you doing? The the lamps? I'm just getting ready to. I need to cut this because it's not. It's too tight. You coming to get my scissors? No, like something that cuts metal. Wait, let me see what you need to cut. Hold on. What? I need to cut this because it's the circle. You're too not using small. my whoa. Oh, oh, oh. The circle's well, too small. Come here, so take I my tools to... like that. So this one? You yeah. Make just, it bigger? Yeah, I want to just cut a slit so I can. Pull it out, like, and widen it. You want to use my wire cutters? Come on, man. Here. Here. I don't know what to use. Don't come in my my domain. Slits on it. Did you already try it? Yeah. With my stuff? It just now. I didn't get very far. But you want to cut this one, right? I, I want to, yes, I want to cut this Why you cut, whole thing. Yeah. Because the circle that holds the light bulb, like, if I can widen that, then I can push the lampshade down. Yes, I need just, just slice it right here. That's all I like need. straight through? Yes. I like cut through? Yes. Not so close to the other piece though. In the middle? Yeah. Right here? Yep. Try to use my good cutters. How's it going? Almost there. Thank y'all. Got what you wanted? Yep, that's perfect. You sure? Uh huh. I just <laughs> have to pull it apart. You want me to do the other side too? Uh, yeah. Which side? It doesn't matter. Just any of the any other ones? Any of them, yeah. Okay. I guess all of them would make it easier to slice down. It's pretty loose. Okay, that's good, that's good. I didn't realize it was that loose. All right, babe, so you're not gonna start a fire, huh? By, it's no. not gonna, okay. Okay. It doesn't touch the light bulb. Hail Mary. Full of grace. Full of grace. All right, here we go. No? Didn't work? Oh, I thought that was Sam. It must be one of the dogs trying to escape the gate. My bad. Oh, that's Sam. Did it work? I, it does, but I need to, like, there's a piece that's sticking out that is causing it to not be able to bend in. Should I be worried, babe? No, why would you be worried? Why would I be worried? Yeah. I don't know. Just the whole idea of you... Putting that on a, is that a regular lamp or light or LED? It's the Phillips. Okay, so it's not gonna it's not gonna heat up then. No, it doesn't get hot. Hey, Trust don't me. don't get I uh. -uh. Okay. That should do it. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and prep the rest of this. Here we go. I guess I could mount this in the in the quad now because it keeps shaking everywhere. So probably be better if I did that. But for now, I'm already committed. Mm-hmm. Let me see what's up to my kids. What's up? What's up? What's up? I miss y'all. Here we go. Still not right? 
Nope, just could have been one more piece. Should I be worried? No. You sure? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna believe you. Okay, good. But if you're wrong, we could be in trouble. After all that, I'm just gonna end up cutting this, so. I got their solder on there, I don't feel like messing with it. So, making it look like the Taj Mahal, babe. Mm -hmm. no. Oh, right. Hardly. <laughs> Love you. You got this. Help me help you. Prep this up with my solder this time because uh, trying to get through HCLC solder is like not gonna happen, not at normal temperatures. I'm just gonna try to tin this up, and as you can see, I'm not, I'm like chasing the wire because I'm just trying to quickly get this done, but I don't want to bring the alligator clips out or anything else right now. I just want to get this done and verify this is all gonna be okay. Okay, here we go. Two. All right. Who's that? Hey, Wonton. Come here. Come here, Wonton. Come here. Oh, what's wrong, girl? That little dog, Wonton. Look, you want to say hi to everybody? Look, I got to give my dog a Say hi. This is Wonton. Say hi, Wonton. And she is, her sister, Lomaine, is somewhere in the house. And then her other sister, Noodles, is somewhere in the house, too. Okay, you going to go now or you want to hang out? Okay, you can hang out. All right. There you go, girl. All right, let's get back to work, though. There we go. Back to work. Okay. So we've got everything set here. Looks fine. I'm just going to clean this up. Okay. You get it, babe? Yeah. Did you get it? Uh, Should I be worried? Yeah. There we go. Now we have an amp reading finally. So on the machine now I have barely, but I still have amp reading. So that's good. Now I'm gonna check a few things out just because. I mean, I, I would have never checked this before, so now I'm curious, All right? God, just hold it still. Okay. So what I want to do is I'm going to turn this on. Make sure, yeah, we have an, uh, an amp reading. So now I want to verify our voltage. 11.1, yep. So I'm going to hold this here and hopefully not short it. Hopefully. Oh, darn. I cannot keep hand still but let's see come on don't screw this up oh hell screw it i'll just put it right here one in here one in there now i'm gonna turn it off ready and off look at that see that's what i wanted to see and so we're not holding uh, anything i mean this is gone it's done all right so uh, this is set i think we're gonna be just fine with this so now let's go ahead and finish the quad out okay
All right, there we go. And now, let's get to connecting. One time, one time, cut it out. Go ahead and tin these. I'm going to tin these up just a little bit more with my solder so we can get a quick connection. Okay. Perfect. All right. Next will be this one. So let me tin these up as well. guys let me put everything back on so let me tin these real quick And then our last one here. So that's done. If I can just get that wire over that screw, of course not. So let me just lower the screw real quick. All right. 
So now that we're done with that, we're going to go put our spacers on for the flight controller. I believe that was going to be three. So let me do that one, two, and three. And then the last three. Okay. So there we go. And we put, put these spacers back in. How'd it go, babe? Good. I ended up using another lampshade. That's not going to go. You what? I had an extra lampshade. Why, did that one get ruined? Yeah, I just, I'm going to use it on the upstairs one. Okay. You need me to fix it? No, I think it'll be fine. I just got that. Are you saying you need a man's help? No. I'll Is that what you're saying? Get tape. <laughs> All right, well, if you need me, let me know. Huh? end that good and there we go all right now we got this ready let's go ahead and get the rest of it done okay so first thing you want to do now is we're going to go ahead and load the flight controller Before I go any farther, I want to test this now. So let me go ahead and get that, and let's make sure that we get tone out of this. There's enough space for this to sit nicely. Perfect. All right, so we're back in business, guys, and this is good news, okay? So let's go ahead and just put this down, get our mounts ready for the VTX, and we are going to have one happy customer that is finally going to be able to fly his quad, and we will have to talk to HLRC about uh, what happened. But in the meantime, at least we'll get this done. Yeah. <sighs> 
Okay. it so now I can get our BTX on here this went like this and we got kinked up all the way into here oh. Shit still. There we go. Hi, Wonton. I feel you. I know. What's up? What? Wonton, what? Can't imagine this was up. But let's just say it was for the heck of it. Does that sit better then? One, two, now it's gonna pop it off. One, two, one, two. Oh, I gotta get this one back on. Yeah, okay. All right, three, and there. Now, just fit, and, oh my God, stop flying off. now we are set so let me go ahead and just fasten this down make sure everything's cleared looks cleared looks cleared here let me unplug this so I can see okay so we want to just put, move this over just a little bit there we go there we go perfect unplug this Here's my last. Here. They're just trying to tan, babe. There you go. Bye, dogs. Hey, babe. Yes, sir. Does it make you mad? No. You sure? It's irritating. No, I mean that they love me more than you. I said, does it make you mad that they love me more than they love you? That they don't. <laughs> so, you're, so you're saying that it does make you mad then? I'm 
saying it doesn't make matter if it's not true. You know, denial. No. It sounds like you're in denial, Mama. You in denial? You can ask them. All right, here we go. Almost done, guys. Just putting the lock fasteners back on here, and we will be done. Hopefully. Try to make it even. No turn. Slight turn there. And then, there we go. That should be even. Everything should be, and it is. It looks very straight. All right. So that being said, we're going to go ahead and plug this back in now. Okay. And that's good. We're going to tighten these screws here. That's good. So I'm going to jack it with my tape. I'm having a Turn it. One second. this and put it on the camera, which is right here. button right there so it should be easy so I don't really even need to stick this down I'm starting to get used to that I just want to put a layer somewhere here that just kind of protects it but I don't need to remove the other side because I'm not worried about the uh, the receiver moving I just don't want it to be scraping against anything or where the where the heat shrink wear it out over time and the next thing you know You've got some exposed stuff there, so. All right, so this should close up. Let's get this together. zip ties boot it up and this thing is good to go what you do throwing away the bolters oh okay she's ready to go work out that's her hint when she changes clothes like that that's her way of telling me um better get your ass off the bench and let's get going to the gym i'm like okay so this will be the last rma for this afternoon which is sunday june 26 or something like that. 27? 26. 28. Sorry, my bad. And when I get back from the gym, I will finish the rest. Or do more, at least. I can't tell you I'm finishable. I'll do more. My wife is super cool to let me even do this on a Sunday. And I appreciate that very much. I told him that you changed clothes, which is your way of telling me when you get going to the gym. It is. <laughs> don't lie. You don't think I know these tricks? Look, see? <laughs> That's right, you didn't think I knew? We did. Yeah. <laughs> Better come up with some new tricks, woman. We did. 
<laughs> all right, so this is all good now, I think. So let's go ahead and boot it up, and we'll test the VTX as well here while we're at it, okay? And no, I'm not putting an antenna on it. Don't bother me about that. I'm just going to turn it on and make sure. Let's go ahead and grab the screen. Let's see if we can get some video. There we go. There's our video. Oh, that's me. Okay. So now I'm going to do all my updates and make sure that we get, oh, I guess we can do that right now. Might, might as well, right? So let me go ahead and verify everything else while I clean up this mess. So let's go ahead and log in to PC. Okay. I think for the time being, where is it? Well, I would have because I don't need the VTX plugged in right now. So let me see if I can get that out without having to go through too much to do it. There we go, VTX is now off, so we're not gonna overheat the VTX, right? So let's go ahead and plug in the FC. Let's put our, uh, there we go. All right, let's go to beta flight. Are good. Okay, disconnect. Whoops, 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 whoops. So let's flash it. almost done. Now I'm just cleaning it up out here. Got a little bit of a mess. Get an RMA for this. All right, so there we go. ESC is now flashed. So we're gonna go back to our ESC setup. And now we can say to, we wanna write it all even though it's already written, should say nothing. There we go, and then click disconnect. Okay, we'll power it off, like that, and then we will come over here and connect. All right, let's reset, let's calibrate, let's go to motors. And the main thing I want to do is I want to make sure the motors are spinning properly and make sure, because I did, obviously I took them off, so motor one, okay, two, perfect. Three, perfect, perfect. All right, everything else is done. We'll go ahead and plug the VTX back in when I'm done here and make a note for the RMA, and this is finished. That was a quite a long RMA. And so guys, there we go. So that is the process of doing it, and as you can see in this case, it was nothing at the fault of the end user. It was uh, completely, uh, on, it looks like it was on HDLR's side, 
and they'll I'll present it to them and see what they say, and maybe they could find out who put it together and explain to them about the soldering. Whatever it is, I'm glad that we were able to help the customer, and I'm glad that we were able to help HDLRC. That's what it's all about, right? So with that said, guys, I hope you uh, got to see stuff that may have helped you. If you need any help with anything, please, as always, reach out to me via our website, and here is the link or the instructions or whatever. Yeah, the link. Uh, the address, that's it. And uh, as always, please follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It helps, right? Um, I don't know how it helps, but it helps. And therefore, as long as I see people keep subscribing, it means that people are still interested in what I'm doing. All right. Other than that, guys, it is a great Sunday. So enjoy it. Have fun with your family. Spend the most time with them because you don't know how much time you've got left. So please make the most of it, okay? And then fly later. Peace.